Hey, this is Tim from DimDrive.com. Really quick demo of the USB 3 uh, turbo mode in DimDrive. Uh, essentially, when you load a game for the first time in DimDrive, um, when you have the USB 3 turbo mode enabled, it takes the game and not only does it put the game in DimDrive, it also has a copy on your USB 3 stick. So the next time you reboot your computer and you load DimDrive initially for the first time, it sets everything up super, super fast. And again, DimDrive is intelligent and it maintains file synchronicity, if that's even a word, between your normal hard drive and the dim drive RAM drive, as well as the USB 3 stick, um, which it uses just to do the initial file copies on the dim drive. So we're gonna configure it real quick um, to support, looks like we're gonna test with, uh, what did I configure, uh, Titan Quest here. So we're gonna set this up. Um, I just deleted data off my USB stick. So 15 gigs free, we're gonna hit next. We're gonna not do a speed test, we're just gonna hit finish. We're gonna do a Titan Quest, four gigabyte, uh, game. Um, we're gonna pretty much just set it up right now. Now keep in mind how long it's gonna take to load Titan's Quest. So let's type uh, CLS. To initially load Titan's Quest into Dim Drive, it's gonna take, let's count it out. I don't have a good stopwatch, so I'm just using Windows time. I know it's ghetto, but whatever. So now, so when your computer boots up for the first time and you first enable dim drive for a game. It's got to actually copy it into dim drive for the first time. What USB 3 turbo mode does is it utilizes mega fast USB 3 memory sticks. Mine does a little bit over 200 megabytes per second. It utilizes USB 3 turbo and it, it, it caches the game to the USB 3 stick just for the initial loading into dim drive. So basically you do what you're doing right now. I've set up a particular game um, you configure dim drive to let's say auto load on boot up. So when you log into your computer or boot up for the first time, dim drive will load and it will copy the game into dim drive right away. And by copying it off of your USB three memory stick, it enables your, let's say you, if you have a, a mechanical drive, it enables your mechanical drive to focus on loading windows, loading other programs, doing what other, whatever it needs to do. And it allows your uh, USB three uh, memory stick to then offload and load into dim drive um, that way. It enables things to go far, far faster. So um, we notice right now, uh, this is a four gigabyte game. And actually I haven't played Titan's Quest yet. Um, I'm a sucker for RPGs. I mean, RPGs all the way. Um, and I got this game and I'm actually really excited to play it. But anyway, we're 68% to load. And we've got my little timer here. It says we are started at three minute 25, or three hour 25 minute 34 seconds. So once this finishes, we're gonna type the time word again, and we're just gonna bust out a little bit of math here. So while we're waiting, we're gonna say start, uh, we're gonna say um, uh, original mechanical, or we'll call it the original DD load. How about we'll call it, um, pre no turbo mode, turbo USB three load. There you go. And then we're gonna do, po we're gonna do um, full USB three turbo load. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, there we go. So um, I wasn't paying attention as much as I should have. So we've got, let's do a little bit of math here. This will be easy. This is two minutes and 21 seconds. So two min, 21 seconds, okay? So now imagine your computer just booted. Um, no, let's take it back. Imagine you um, are setting this up for the first time. Let's say you decide I'm gonna play Titan, Titan Quest for the next week. So you set it up the first time with Dim Drive. You set it up with the USB three turbo mode, you enable it. You set it up, your initial copy, as we just saw, two minutes, 21 seconds. Now let's say you go and reboot your computer. You enable your startup, you launch dim drive on startup, you call it, you tell it to activate dim drive. We're not gonna do that. Um, and you make sure you have your USB three mode enabled and make sure you have your USB stick stuck in your memory or stuck in your computer. If you unplug the USB thing, it's not gonna, it's, it's gonna revert back to the uh, traditional way of loading a game. But let's say we have your USB thing, you enable it, you ran it for the first time, blah, blah, blah. So we're gonna turn it off. We're gonna simulate now your computer's booting up. So let's turn it off. Um, it doesn't have to synchronize anything because we haven't played the game yet. Now, here's something to know. 
if you do play the game, Dim Drive will synchronize that game to your original hard drive, of course, because that's what Dim Drive does. It maintains file integrity between your RAM drive and your normal drive. But not only will it do that, it'll maintain integrity to your USB. So when you next boot your computer, it's going to pull the data off of the USB to originally populate Dim Drive. So now we're going to set up the time. Now I'm, going to, I'm not going to do. I'm not going to touch a single thing. I'm not going to configure anything anymore. I'm not going to click any more buttons. All I'm going to do is click on. So when your computer boots up, that's basically what it's doing. When you enable these things, it just tells it to boot. Now watch the time difference. Okay, two minutes and 21 seconds to what we're going to see right now. You ready? Okay, it's creating the drive. It's copying the data right now. Look at that. 15%, 70%, bam, done. Look at that. Look at that, guys. Two minutes and 21 seconds to seven seconds. Look at that difference, guys. Two minutes and 21 seconds. One thing you hear when people talk about RAM drives is, oh, when I shut down my computer, it takes a thousand years. Not with Dim Drive. Dim Drive synchronizes files real time. See this file sync? When a file gets synchronized, it shows up in file sync. File sync will tell you this file was just synchronized. It's real time. When you shut down Dim Drive, you don't have to wait a thousand, or when you shut down your computer, you don't have to wait a thousand years. It shuts down just like that. Now, when you boot up your computer, people are always like, oh God, it takes a thousand years to load a game. Well, USB 3 turbo mode, that's the key. So if you, if you don't have a lot of money to spend on a solid state drive, I mean, if you have a solid state drive, it's gonna load really fast in a dim drive. A solid state drive may be 250 to 500 megabytes per second. Dim drive, 6,000 to 10,000 plus megabytes per second. We're talking massively faster than a solid state drive. But let's say you don't, you don't have $500 to spend on a solid state drive. My USB memory stick that I'm showing you right now, $17.99. So people are like, oh, it's gonna take a million years. Two, it's gonna take two minutes and 21 seconds to load a game in a dim drive. Again, let me show you one more time. Let's turn dim drive off, All right? Let's not even keep track of time. Let's just count the time out, okay? Originally, two minutes, 21 seconds, let's count. Okay, you ready? One, two, three, four, so basically five seconds there. Five seconds from two minutes and 21 seconds, guys. This is uh, 141 seconds. Let me just make this a little bit bigger. 141 seconds. So again, one more time. Let's turn dim drive off, okay? We're gonna try this with a different game. Let's, uh, let's pick a smaller game. Let's make this a little bit easier on us. Let's, let's, let's do Torchlight. Um, so when, when you first set up dim drive for a game initially, so it loads all your games in steam automatically, then you need to set up, uh, that specific exe. Some games will have multiplayer maps and map editor, all these other things. So initially you just tell it the exe, um, let's make dim drive a little bit smaller. Let's make it five gigs. We've only got, I think that's the only one we have enabled. Yeah. So we've only got torchlight. So let's, let's, uh, get rid of our little stuff right here. Let's get rid of this right here. Okay, so again, we have USB 3 turbo mode enabled and we have Torchlight. So let's, uh, let's see what happens. Let's turn it on initially. So the initial loading, let's uh, hit time. Now, this only happens once. So put this right at the very top here. So the first time you load a game, it's going to populate the USB memory stick. And uh, from your platter-based drive, you're gonna get, if your drive is doing nothing, you're gonna get maybe, I'm gonna say, maybe on average 80 megabytes per second. Um, if, you're, if your platter-based drive is your boot drive, oh boy, you're probably gonna get like 20 to 30 to 40 megabytes per second because you have Windows running, you have all your services, you have all your other programs and so on. Now this is almost done here, so let's get ready to hit time again. Look like it's cranking away on the final files here. 91% and it looks like my platter drive, just like any other platter drive, when it's doing lots of other things, when it's getting accessed by a lot of other things, it slows down. And so when we look at it right now, it looks like it just slowed down for a moment. And I actually just got an alert on my taskbar on my other monitor saying something, something just updated, which is very typical when you have a mechanical drive. When two things access it at once, you're gonna get hella slowdowns. So let's take a look at the math here. 
we've got 60 seconds because there's a minute and then another four. So we've got 64 seconds. So to load a uh, torchlight, 64 seconds. Now you only do that once. I'm gonna turn it off. Dim drive is no longer running. Dim drive stopped. If, if you were to look at my all my hard drives, there's no Y drive anymore. So right now we're basically simulating we just turned off our computer. Now we're gonna imagine you have these things enabled so when your computer boots, dim drive starts. Now we're gonna simulate booting up Windows. So 64 seconds to load it, now we have USB 3 turbo. Let's count this, let's count this out loud. Okay, you ready? One, two, three, four, barely four seconds. So that's what the USB 3 turbo mode and um, if you if you don't have hundreds of dollars to splurge on a solid state drive to load into dim drive, spend $17.99 on a USB 3 stick. It's well worth it. So thanks for watching this video.